Let's learn better problem solving skills and how to get better in math, whether it's math competitions, school math, or any other problem solving area in your life. I'm Amy and I was a state math champion and I got perfect scores on the ACT and SAT, both with 10 minutes to spare. In this series, we're going over problems that tickle your brain, where we're gonna build that math sense problem solving ability, which will help you in all areas. Specifically, these can translate to how you want to think in math competitions and being good in math competitions will make school math and even science class in school easy. As usual, every time I ask a question, then pause the video and try to answer yourself first so it's interactive and you're building your own math sense. How many two digit numbers ending in one are primes? Sometimes there's not always a formulaic answer and in math competitions and in school math and in life, it's important to be able to think systematically and to list out items systematically such that you catch all cases. This is actually a more number theory problem and number theory is important because you need to understand the basic attributes of numbers and especially to know which numbers are prime. Actually in this problem, we can pretty much only list them out. What is the answer? Try yourself first. Okay, let's list them out together. First of all, we have 11. Next, 21 is not because it's three times seven. Then we have 31 is 41. Yes, because it's not divisible by anything else. 51, ooh, is 51 a prime? This is where other tricks come in that relate to the problem we have at hand. 51's digits are five and one, which added together is six. And six is divisible by three, which means that 51 is divisible by three. So if you didn't know to find if a number is divisible by three or nine, you just check if the sum of the digits is divisible by three or nine. So in the case of 81, it's eight plus one equals nine, which is divisible by nine, which means that 81 is divisible by nine. But of course, you already knew that 81 is nine times nine. It's just for bigger numbers. This is really helpful. Next, we have 61. 71, well, we already looked at 81, but actually, how about 91? Is this a prime number? No, because you can divide it by seven. How do I see that quickly? It's because 91 minus 70 is 21. So the 70 is of course divisible by seven, and this 21 is divisible by seven, which means that 91 is divisible by 7 and not a prime number. So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 primes. There are 5 two-digit primes ending in 1. Let's do a practice problem. How many two-digit numbers ending in 3 are primes? Try it yourself. Next time's problem will be P and Q are two primes such that P plus Q equals 25. Find 1 over P plus 1 over Q. See you next time.